Hello everybody, in this video we are going to see about a where clause in SQL. Now in the last session we have learned about how we can retrieve the data from the uh, table. Uh, so uh, we learn about like uh, select star from let's say employee demographics. Uh, so this is something which is uh, we have learned like means how we can retrieve the data or uh, let's say some other table as well. Uh, so you know means how we can uh, re retrieve the data. This is employee, employee salary. Now. Uh, while working as SQL, when we have, we have some requirement like how we can filter out our data. Like suppose this is a very small table uh, having just uh, 12 records, but uh, sometimes there is uh, uh, data of thousands uh, rows in it or maybe in uh, millions as well. So that time we need to filter out our data. So how we can filter out data? And so for that purpose, we do have the where clause, uh, which is uh, we can write in SQL uh, this select statement. So as you know, like uh, this is a select start from uh, retrieve everything from uh, this particular uh, table. So this is something which is uh, we are uh, uh, just uh, trying to tell the SQL engine uh, to get me all the data. But suppose I have some requirement uh, where I just need to improve, uh, get the data for some particular uh, employee. Uh, so for that we we do have this where clause uh, where we can write like this uh, where uh, like this or maybe in a capital letter no, doesn't matter. Uh, so this is a where we uh, can type and then uh, let's say for first name. Uh, so this is the first name. Uh, this is column and uh, I wanted to get the data for Ravi. So what will happen like this is a where clause which will tell the uh, SQL engine to get the data for uh, first name or uh, Ravi. Uh, so that is something which is, uh, if we try to uh, run it now, uh, then uh, you will get the result of just Ravi. So we do have 12 records, but we have just filtered out for this particular one employee or one record. So this is the way we can uh, do a where clause and there are very multiple options to, to use this uh, where clause. Uh, so now let's try to uh, see that. Uh, so we have this uh, one condition of Ravi and then uh, let's say another condition we wanted to add. So let's say salary. So salary is something which is we can say um, 70,000. So what what will happen? So now for this Ravi, we do have salary of seventy thousand, and uh, we are adding a condition of uh, where salary is greater than uh, seventy thousand. So if we try to uh, execute this, then what will happen? This query will not give any result. Though the first name is Ravi, uh, but but the salary is not matching. So what we can do is uh, salary is something which is uh, we can add uh, uh, equal to. Now what will happen? Uh, so you can say that. Uh, Ravi is the first name and salary is 70,000. So if it is greater than or equal to, then it is fine that we, we get the result for this uh, particular uh, condition. So this is the uh, one multiple conditions we can add uh, on, on this. And uh, now uh, let's uh, try to uh, see uh, li uh, like means what we can do uh, apart from this. Uh, so we do have this uh, another table, which is uh, let's say select uh, are from employee demographics. So here we will try to see more options how we can do this. Uh, so we do have um, some uh, fields. Uh, so we do have this text field. Uh, then this is the number field. This is text field and this is the date field. So what we can do. Uh, so probably we can add another where clause here and uh, let's say birth date. So this is the one column and which is we can say is uh, uh, let's say greater than uh, let's say 1988. So what we are trying to tell uh, the query that uh, I want to retrieve all the records which is having the birth date of 1988 uh, more than uh, 1988. Uh, so for that uh, if I try to do this then it is uh, coming like this. Now uh, there is uh, one more thing we can add. Suppose we do have this age. We just need to filter out again uh, on some condition. Like let's say and age uh, is uh, greater than 30. Uh, let's say 30. Uh, then what will happen? So we are just getting two records. So for this particular, let's say I'm just executing this. We are getting three records. But if I add this age condition as well, 
then we are getting like this just only two records because their age is more than 30. Uh, this is and if I put R here, what will happen? So, you know, logical operator, this are and and R are logical operator. And if I put like this and just try to run it, then you will uh, see that uh, this condition is satisfying whatever the results it is getting, but who are having age of greater than 30. So now you can see um, age is greater than 40, uh, 30, it is 44, but their birth date is something which is less than 1988. Still, uh, this record is filtering out because we have condition of age. So this either this condition will be true or this condition will be true, whatever the uh, this criteria. So with respect to that criteria, we are getting the uh, result. Now uh, we can say that, let's say uh, we can add a parenthesis here. And uh, let's say uh, we and and here uh, we can say that um, so now what will happen? Uh, so only uh, this uh, if I try to run this, only we will get uh, two records. But um, if I add another condition, which is uh, gender equal to male. So now what will happen? Out of this as well, we have this condition and then uh, this condition. So what will happen if I run this, then only one record will come because this is a single condition which is having a uh, gender which is equal to male. And R, if I put R, then uh, we will get all the records which are having a condition of, uh, which are having a gender as male and uh, satisfying this condition as well. So that's something which is we need to remember uh, that how we can filter out the data uh, in this. Now, uh, once we have learned this, then there are other conditions like uh, we, I just wanted to show you the like operator, uh, which is uh, how we can do this. Uh, so I am just getting the record from employee demographics and uh, trying to show you uh, like this is the data from all these uh, employee demographics. And uh, if I wanted to filter out, so like operator is something which is, suppose we are not sure about any specific value. Let's say first name and uh, let's say Ravi. So this is something which is, if you are sure that uh, I wanted to know the, uh, I wanted to see the data records for Ravi, but suppose there are uh, thousands of records and you, you are not sure what are the names of that particular uh, employees uh, which you wanted to uh, retrieve? But you have some criteria, like le whatever, let's say, or maybe name starting from um, R, you wanted to retrieve. And if you try to execute this now, uh, you can see that this will not give the result. But for this, how we can do this if I wanted to filter out? So there is a, instead of equal to operator, we have like operator which is we can put it here and uh, let's say uh, I wanted to retrieve all the records uh, for whom uh, the first name is starting with R. So if I do this now and if I try to run this, now you can say the first name starting with R are three records. So that is something which is coming like this. Now the other thing we can uh, do is suppose I wanted to say that uh, wherever the condition of A, or wherever the character is A uh, in the first name, uh, starting for starting uh, whatever may be or ending whatever may be. So uh, that if I wanted to retrieve, then this will be. So wherever A is there, so you can say uh, all these records is having A uh, in this. But let's say I wanted to get the records of, let's say N, wherever N is in between in the first name and if I try to execute there are only few records like four records where there is a n in between so this way it will filter out suppose uh, I wanted to get the records uh, which is uh, starting with um, anything but ending with only uh, let's say t so I wanted to get the records uh, where the first name is ending with only t so if I try to run this now you can see this as it is just one record which is having this this t at the last uh, any anything in, uh, at the start 
now there is one more thing. If I say, remember this R is something which is I'm getting all the records which starting R. And uh, suppose I just wanted to get these four records. So let's say underscore. If you put three underscores, then what will happen? Only the first this record will come. Now, if I put two more underscores, then we will get only these records. Now, suppose I remove this one of them and just try to execute as well. There will be no records. But since I am what I am putting like um, one, two, three. So if I put three underscores, then the results will be this is three. So starting R and the three record uh, underscore that means these three letters. Now, if I put two more like five underscores, then what will happen? Starting with R, but these are the two records which are remember that Ravi is not coming here because Ravi uh, after in that Ravi record we have after R just three uh, letters. So that is not coming here. So this is something which is we can do and we can use this uh, like operator in combination with this uh, as well, like gender is like um, uh, something is uh, here you want to put uh, like operator that also you can uh, do it anywhere uh, in the where clause. This way we can filter out the data from the uh, table uh, with the where clause and uh, remember uh, how we can use this where clause in the next session we will going to see about group by and order by.